Hello people and welcome back to the Beard Talks. I am the Beard, aka John, as you all should know. If you don't know, there you go. You know who I am now. And uh, this is just a vlog where I just talk about stuff that I find interesting and would like to pass on to you people. And today I'll be talking about uh, Red 2 teaser poster. Uh, actress returns for Thor Dark World. Scary Movie 5 being made. Oh dear. In between this possible sequel movie, uh, all female cast of The Expendables. A uh, bit about Dark Knight, because there's some interesting things about that, and I will end on, what was it? I'll end on Halo 4. I will do a little bit of Halo 4 information. First of all, let's kick off with all the film news. Yes, Red 2, if you remember Red, Red was the first movie released in about 2010, I think it was, starring Bruce Willis, um, John Malkovich, Helen Mirren, etc., etc., about old assassins for the CIA who retired, as Red means retired, extremely dangerous, which I loved. It's just awesome. If you haven't seen the film, go and see it. It's awesome, awesome film. You'll laugh. It's just loads of action, just awesome thing. And also, there's one person I forgot. Bruce Willis is in it. How the hell can I forget the main actor? Yeah, that's this problem with the beard. It just it condenses the brain down a bit. But yeah, awesome film. And uh, they released a teaser poster for Red Two. And it looks awesome. They've got a new uh, Catherine Zeta Jones will be in this new one. Uh, there's not much about plot at the moment, but most likely it'll probably be the same thing about the other one. But most likely if they're like an assassin is after him or something like that. Um, it's due to release on August 2nd of next year. Right, Thor 2 Dark World, an, an actress from the previous one has signed on. You're wondering who's that? It's Cat Big Boob Denning. Yes, you should know this woman. Her face was all over the news about a couple of months ago where she showed naked pictures of herself everywhere, which we love. Don't we, men? Yes. But she's coming back for Thor Dark World, and her big boobs are coming with her, which we're all happy about. Hopefully we'll see a little bit more of them. Probably not, because it's a children's thingy movie, but all love it. But yeah, just like, she's back. And if you like me and appreciate a good set of assets, then welcome her back, because I think it's going to be a good thing. Uh, Scary Movie 5. Yeah. I, I don't know why either, but yeah, Scary Movie 5 is in the works at the moment. With Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen being a couple. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. I was just like, yeah, I, could, I, I don't even, even need to see your faces. I already know what you're saying. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it'll probably be worth a watch, even a rent, most likely. You'll probably have a good couple of cheap laughs in it. And um, it's just something to watch if you're bored out of your mind. But yeah, it's um, due out April 19th of next year. Thumbs up, yay. Yay. Honestly, I don't know. Next thing, in between us. If you're American, the in between us will be coming to you on September 7th of this year, which is in about two weeks. Um, but for everyone in England and everyone else, but it's an awesome film. You'll laugh, you wouldn't laugh so hard in your life. I remember watching it and just laughing, going, oh no. It's the point where you laugh out loud and you just go, oh no, they didn't. Oh god, no, why? But it's an awesome film. The thing they're making a sequel at the moment, it's still in the early works, according to the creator. But they're probably going to have the original cast come back, reprise the roles. And um, they're just really looking forward to it. I was like, I know, must admit, I'm not too sure what they're doing. So the first one, they went to Malia. I'm not too sure if they can do it again. Most likely it would be in England, most likely. Or they go on like a road trip around. That'd be awesome. They go on a road trip around Europe or something like that. I think that would be a good one. They leave their girlfriends at home. And, well, that's if they're still with them from the first movie. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> whoops. Bit of a spoiler alert there. But, yeah. Sorry about that. But, um, I think that would be an interesting plot thing for it if they actually do something like that. Because I think that's the most logical way to go. Um, another thing. MTV has... Um, um, can I, how can I say? Copied. There you go. Copied it and put it onto their show using American actors using the same thing about American High School and the same four guys most likely taking some of the old storylines and trying to fit them into that but I watched the trailer didn't find it funny at all it just seemed like they just copied it and badly copied it so I don't think I'll get past season one but who knows it's America anything can happen they can cancel fantastic shows which are doing really well and have a great following and bring back shows like that. Yeah. Oh well, right, um, you all seen, all know about the Spendles, Mal guys, yeah, Stallone, Statham, Lee, London, Willis, Schwarzenegger, all coming, the thing they're making a female version of this, using the female heroines, yes, um, nothing's written in stone yet, but the thing about it, they're um, thinking of um, 
no, they haven't even got cast yet. So the main wish list is the alien kicking girl, a woman, Scorny Weaver. Awesome. Sorry, I've wrote little things down there which are awesome. The Matrix Scrambler, Kerry Ann Moss. Uh, too Fast, Too Furious star, Michelle Rodriguez. Uh, <laughs> Terminator, Terminating. L last, Linda Hamilton. They're thinking about having her back. And the possible Terminator from the TV show, Summer Glue, who is hot. Yes, hot. Yes, but that's the couple that think they're having it. I'm, I'm not too sure this will really take off. It's an interesting idea, but I don't think it will go anywhere. If it does, in the future, you most likely have a joint collaboration between the Sloan Expendables and the Women Expendables. Probably do a joint mission together, but I'm not too sure if it will work or not. I, I, I doubt it. No offence, I really, really doubt it. It's a good idea, but I don't think it really works. The first Expendables worked really well just because, because the the action and the comedy, and even the second one was ten times better than the first one, and it's, it's just awesome. It's just like you can rework it, and it's just awesome. But I'm not sure the women Expendables would work. Sorry, if that sounds sexist, but I just don't think it'll work. Um, last thing is, um, apparently, uh, The Dark Knight Rises sold less tickets than. The 89 Batman film. Yes, I, I can't believe that as well. And, um, yeah, they sold less tickets. Apparently, The Dark Knight Rises has sold around about 50 million tickets. Um, the original Batman sold 65 million. Sorry, what was it? 60, yeah, 62 million, sorry about that. Uh, but the problem is, between 89 Batman and today's Batman, you have a lot of in-between of tickets going up in price. Literally, I remember going to the cinema and it was costing about, what, five quid to go to the cinema now literally it'll cost you around about 15 quid for ticket food etc 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 it's just it's amazing and uh i've done a little bit of mass math, math behind this is that ticket prices back in about 89 were around about possibly two pound fifty judging by what i've read online this property is correct but i'm judging two pound fifty and then ticket prices today are around about eight pound fifty per ticket so that's around about 150 150 percent rise in about bloody hell, 20 odd years 20 odd years rise yeah but it's just saying that because of this rise people are not really going to the movie any movies anymore because they can't afford it i literally i only really go to the movies this is a movie i really really want if not i'll wait till it comes up on dvd and rent it but uh i did a little math yes yes a face like this with beer like this can do a little bit of math only a little bit i can only count to nine. Oh no that's even eight no even worse but currently the 89 batman Ended up around about one hundred and thirty-six point four million pound making. They did, and um, the Dark Knight Rises made around about two hundred and sixty-seven point five million pound with the tickets they sold. Now this will probably go up, but it's amazing that for two pound fifty they still make more. I know they've sold more tickets, but still they make more. It's it's just mind-boggling. It's just like. I don't think because it's no more of a digital age now. You don't really go to the cinema anymore, but it's it's just but I just surprised me that that is how it came about. And I'd like to get your thoughts on that. It's like, what do you think about ticket inflation like prices? Do you still go to the cinema, or do you wait till it come out, or do you do something else which I will not even mention or even come near to mentioning? Yep. <clears throat> right. I'll end on a bit, and I'll end on I'm ended now on a bit of Halo Four news. The achievement list for Halo 4 has been released by Halo Waypoint. It is, well, it's not exciting, it's just the usual achievements like complete this level, do this level, collect this, collect this, go to terminal, go to this, raise to a certain level, multiplier, do this in this multiplier to get this achievement. Nothing really exciting there, but most likely it's just all general stuff as most achievements are. Uh, most likely more will be released if there's any more DLC packs, etc. But I'll put a link down below for that if you wish to go and have a look at that. Right, that's the end of the Tuesday vlog. Thursday vlog? Tuesday, Jesus Christ. Thursday vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you've all liked the information you get. If not, just comment down below. Tell me to F off or go do one or give me some support and just say I'm doing doing alright, man. Yeah, keep going. Oh, but no, I don't mind. I like to hear from you people. Say what I'm doing right, see what I'm doing wrong. Because uh, I do this really for you people, just to have a look at me. I, I don't sit here and just talk to a camera for fun. I just do it just to just to show you people what's out there. Because some people don't know. But there is a little bit of fun involved in it because it gets me to say it too during the day. Anyway, 
hope you enjoyed this Thursday vlog. Hope you all have a great day. It is now sunny here, not too hot though. And uh, I'll see you for the chill out Sunday vlog. Hope you all have a great day. Bye bye. <laughs>